Status of negotiations over immigration reform. A bipartisan group of senators and White House aides are still trying to put together a deal that would help stem the tide of migrants at the border, but the Republican majority in the House is saying they won't come on board. Wei Zhejiang reports. Tonight, the blame game goes on for the unprecedented number of migrant crossings at the southern border. Have you ever heard of the saying, he who brings order out of chaos will be worshipped even if it's the same who created the chaos? This is the system in which white people operate out of. And I believe that you should be able to see this due to the border uh, uh, bill that was rejected by the Republicans. Senator, is this deal dead effectively? Uh, I hope so. It should be. If it's not dead yet, it should be dead. I mean, there is absolutely no reason to agree to policies that will just further enable Joe Biden. You should be able to see how they have been able to use the emotions of white people to motivate them to vote for them by using the border crossing issue with no intentions of actually solving the border crossing issue. There's only one reason why this is happening, uh, and that's because Joe Biden has eliminated all of the four policies that Donald Trump put in place uh, that led to the lowest illegal border crossings in 40 years. <clears throat> Exhort how this man lie to you with a straight face and watch how the person interviewing him, the so-called journalist, does not challenge this straight out lie. This is why I say that Europeans like to be manipulated. They want to be lied to. There have been about 177,000 fewer deportations in Trump's first year as president than there were in Obama's first year. Trump campaigned on tough immigration. His most iconic promise was to build that wall, build that wall. In Trump lower deportation numbers versus Obama higher deportation numbers proves that Trump ran on immigration but did nothing about the issue. And then... So in April, I submitted a FOIA request to see what the deportation numbers really looked like. Deportation numbers didn't start to drop until Obama's second term in office. Those lower numbers have held steady, if not continue to decline under Trump. One big thing to watch is DACA. Monthly deportation numbers didn't start to decline until Obama signed the executive order. Johnson issued a statement challenging President Biden to issue executive orders on this, saying that the president doesn't need Congress to fix the broken border. President Biden. We have to ask ourselves, why, if Biden is capable of solving the border crisis with executive orders, why did the Republicans hold Trump to those same principles? Why wasn't the border crisis solved while Trump was in office if all that is required is executive orders from the presidency? Because Trump had no intentions on solving a border crisis because he only intended to use the border crisis and white people racism as a means to drive them to the poll and to continue to gain their support, to allow him to financially rip them off, selling them NFTs and bogus fundraisers. September, Attorney General Jeff Sessions announced the end of DACA, but he gave Congress six months to figure out what to do about the Dreamers. Trump's highest deportation month had half the deportations of Obama's highest. I need you to understand that they repeatedly do this form of manipulation to our people. How many times have you heard black people in the community, in the city, say that Donald Trump had money circulating in the community during the uh, Corona uh, times? 2020, based off of the Corona Relief Funding Projects. We will give a man credit for something who did not 
who rejected or who was opposed to this very same funding. Trump confessed that he is obstructing coronavirus relief and blocking money to the Postal Service because he doesn't want millions of ballots to be counted on time. We're going to ignore the fact that Donald Trump was the president to order the shutdown of various jobs that prevented many of people from being able to pay their bills while simultaneously leveraging their condition in order to take away their vote. But he is rewarded by many, including black people, as some type of a savior because of the stimulus package that he himself opposed to. President Trump's name will reportedly be printed on stimulus checks that the IRS is mailing to tens of millions of Americans amid the coronavirus pandemic. The president is not an authorized signer for the checks issued by the Treasury Department, but the Washington Post is reporting the checks will still be signed by Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, but the president's signature will also appear in the memo section. The checks are expected to be mailed out next week. So when you look at it, Donald Trump, who ahead of time could have handled the COVID a lot better, mishandled the COVID situation, created a lockdown, right? So he is one who created the chaos and then is rewarded for the solution, what appeared to be the solution for the chaos, even though he opposed that solution just because he simply signed his name to the checks. We have to get away from allowing ourselves to be manipulated by these simple actions. That is the backdrop for Donald Trump now formally blocking $25 billion in emergency funding for the Postal Service. Making it harder to vote is not something politicians generally admit is their goal and certainly not as part of a strategy to take a hostage, take a hostage. This is one of the sticking points that's holding back stimulus for Americans during this coronavirus. The oh, yeah, Democrats that's one wanting of them. money that's, for the post office for mail-in voting. That's one of them. That's right. They want 25 billion dollars for the post office because the post office is going to have to go to town to get these great ridiculous ballots in now if we don't make a deal that means they don't get the money that means they can't have universal mail-in voting if we don't get the the deal your president says then they don't get free and fair voting which is your actual constitutional right this is the president conditioning your jobless benefits on your right to vote. So when the president says. So even some black people allow Donald Trump to manipulate them into supporting him against their own democratic rights in exchange for his signature on a check that was issued by the government. This is the type of manipulation we as a people are falling for because we are thinking on a simple level. Because we are lacking the ability to use discernment to judge these people as who they are and who they have continuously shown us they are. So it should be no surprise to us when Donald Trump opposes a border deal that will limit the amount of people coming into the country in order to motivate his viewer, his supporters to vote for him to solve a problem that he has no intentions of solving. Because he campaigned on building a wall and lowering a border crosser. But however, it was evident that he did less deportations than Obama.
But Donald Trump has learned that it is better to leave the issue there and to use that as a means of manipulation to drive the people to empower him rather than create a solution for the problem. Willie, good morning to you. Senate negotiators have been inching closer to a border security deal after months of work here, but it could all unravel with former President Trump uh, urging Republicans not to do a deal, prompting talk about blocking an agreement so that voters can blame President Biden for its failure and credit Mr. Trump with getting a deal if he wins the election. The same as the Republican Party has learned that jury mindering is more effective than creating policies that will inquire more votes. The same way they have figured out how to rule elections using the electoral college rather than win elections through the popular vote. Now, the former president embracing the fallout, really, for his attempts to sabotage the deal. I noticed a lot of the senators, a lot of the senators are trying to say respectfully they're blaming it on me. I said, that's OK. Please blame it on me, please, because they were getting ready to pass a very bad bill. You have to understand it's definitely his fault. Segregationist Joe is definitely has no issue with shutting down the border. Segregationist Joe has no issue with compromising any minorities that support Democrats in order to gain favor with white Trump supporters. So the lack of a border deal is definitely due to Republicans. Biden responding to that here in South Carolina. If that bill were the law today, I'd shut down the border right now and fix it quickly. A bipartisan bill would be good for America, and Congress needs to get it done. Now, Border Patrol says that a record 300,000 undocumented immigrants crossed into the U.S. in December. Speaker Johnson says that President Biden has ample authority to act immediately. Willie? And as you say, even Republicans in the Senate are urging their colleagues in the House, take the deal. It's as good as it's going to get for us. Aaron Gilchrist in Columbia, South Carolina. This is why black people have to understand we have no political party. We have the head of the Democratic Party that will compromise any issue for any minority group in order to appease those very people who politics is all motivated by hatred for you.